Hi guys, uh, welcome to meet an online guest on Band Bond. This time it's all about folk metal, Finnish folk metal, perhaps the finest kind of folk metal. Our guest's name is Petri Lindros and he plays the guitar and sings in Enciferum, who's got a new album out called Thalassic. So why not just kick this off by saying, hi Petri, welcome to Band Bond. Thank you very much. <laughs> You've just set a new Enciferum album free. It's your eighth album. Are you still as stoked about new albums as you were in the beginning of your career? Absolutely. It's always the um, the great anticipation right before the album is out. And now it's out. It feels good. It could have come even sooner, you know, since this Corona thing took over and ruined everybody's schedule life. And uh, so... Well, the album is out now and it feels very good. Uh, the new album, Thalassic, have a marathon theme. Uh, what can you tell us about it? Um, well, the idea came from our bass player, Sami Hinka. He was working with this idea for, I would say, a closer to two years almost, on and off, uh, doing a lot of research for the lyrics, uh, like historical events and uh, like... Uh, myths around the world some more mythical some not but uh but still the uh the, the water is very strongly present on on the whole album but it's your first album right with one theme it is it is yes and you're a, a very thematical band you're sort of made for themes <laughs> i think we gotta use this kind of approach maybe a little bit more in the future but since this album is out now, let's wait until we can start focusing on new material and so see how that one goes. <laughs> of course, let's not yeah. rush things. But, but yeah. why do you think the time was right now for a, for a thematic album? Um, could have been. It's, this was the right time to, to do this move. Uh, we did not kind of like, you know, go through it through the process that much. Uh, like, is it a good time or not? just kind of take a shot in the dark and uh, hope it hits, you know. Uh, we like it a lot, so I, I think it's a it's a hit, not a miss. Uh, your songs on the album are extremely catchy. Where do you get the inspiration for those melodies? Uh, that's also a very good question, you know. I think it comes from just like ordinary day, you know, jamming with the band. And, uh, well, mostly our main guy, Markus Toivonen, uh, he brings out the ideas to the rehearsal place and uh, he shows us what he got. And uh, then we start figuring out, like playing around with different uh, arrangements and solutions, like how to play this one, do the additional changes if required. And usually they change a lot. So it takes a long time for us to write the, write the material. And... Um, well, kind of like that one. We are kind of like a democratic band in that way. We also like to sit down everybody at the rehearsal place, you know, go through everything. And when we finally feel that it's almost ready, then we kind of make demos at the rehearsal place and listen to those ones and make more changes, of course. And uh, then it's time to hit the studio, you know, and uh, we make the final decisions pretty much on the spot, you know, by feeling and uh, what fits the best, all those small details and everything. So it all comes down to that. So the demos are very similar to what comes out in the end? Not really, and no. no. Okay. The, the demos, <laughs> demos are like rough versions, usually recorded with a couple of microphones, just, you know, set it up on a rehearsal place. And uh, so we can just hear overall all the changes from part to different and... Uh, uh, check check from that one, you know, but the thing what you hear on the album is totally different world than the demos. Okay, but yeah. the songs are kind of ready before you enter the studio. Yes, let's say 95 to 7 percent, you know, the, the last couple of percentage is, is still the, uh, the, the open ground. Yeah. But but what do we, what would you feel like if you had a producer that told you you must skip this and the, the you need a new chorus here and stuff? Would you go for that or 
do you have your own, you know, sort of recipe on what Enciferum should sound like? Uh, we do know how we want to kind of like sound and uh, our, our like self-criticism level is pretty damn high, maybe a little bit too high, but if it's not good, it will not be on the on any of the songs, you know, the, the parts and courses and stuff. If, if it's not good enough, it will not go there, you know. Okay, okay. Your own best judges. Then. Very much, yeah. yeah. Maybe even a little bit too much from time to time, but, you know, yeah. that, that's how it goes. It, it feels like the stories are very important to you. Can that sometimes, you know, delay the songwriting process because you haven't got a good enough story to tell? Um, not really. The uh, the lyrics department has fallen very heavily on our bass player, Sami Hinka. He is checking all the lyrics, doing those ones. And uh, uh, the lyrics are usually the last ones to arrive. So we... We tend to do the music first, and then we check out the storyline and lyrics to that one. But uh, yeah, lyrics are very important, and uh, they also kind of like must fit the song very well. So it's it, it takes a lot of time. Also, do you have a particular favorite on Thalassic? Well, since it's so goddamn fresh, I would have to say every single song so far. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, one, one of my favorites is the, uh, the the closing track, the Cold Northland. That okay. one is is really a cool track. Yeah, and why? You can't just say cool track. You gotta give me a why. <laughs> why, why not? <laughs> uh, it's uh, well, it's the the longest track on the whole album, and uh, we also wanted to have a lot of like older Enziferum vibe to the song. Go back to the roots like 20 years ago, stuff like that. And uh, I think we pulled it off very good. It's a very epic song. Uh, it's also very much fun to play. It's really cool track to play and sing. Uh, and uh, every time we do that one, it feels like just a normal, you know, four minute track. It doesn't feel like it's over eight minutes so uh, i think that is a very good sign of a very good song agree totally agree yeah. um it's been three years since your last album two paths what have you been up to uh a lot of touring happened and uh uh then we hit the studio after that one and um well here I am now at the uh, Corona quarantine doing basically tons of interviews, but it's, it's, it's good. Uh, we also had a member change in the band. Uh, our former keyboard accordion player, Netta Skog, left the band to do her own solo career more. And uh, we have a new guy with clean vocals and keyboards, Becca Monting. And, uh, well, you can hear his voice very, very much on this new album, Thalassic, and uh, he did a fantastic job. So uh, basically, that that's our three years in a nutshell so far. Okay. Yeah, it's got a really, really great voice, you know. That hits those high pitches perfectly and stuff. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Very Congratulations. Good yes, thank you. <laughs> uh, you returned to your old producer for this album that you used for Victory Songs and From Far. How come you, you know, crossed paths with him again? Um, we did the two previous albums at Astia Studio with Anse Kippo. And uh, it was also time to check out some new sound, new stuff completely. So uh, different crew for this album proven the point that we, we really needed this one. And, uh, he is very cool guy, Janne Joutsniemi, who was recording and producing this album. And uh, he knows us very well. He knows when he can kick some more ass in the studio to for us to do better and more. So uh, he is man on the spot and he knows very well what to do. He also uh, took part like half a year, even a little bit longer, started to giving like producers ideas for the songs 
for when we were recording demos and stuff. So uh, he was involved for a longer time. And, uh, well, he did a fantastic job. He can be a little bit, you know, you know the feeling when sometimes you really want to punch somebody? <laughs> I know the feeling. <laughs> yeah, that, that's him behind the recording console and saying like, yeah, you can do better. Do it one more time. And once again. So, um, yeah. What the hell? That it was perfect. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but you can hear the, the end result on the album. So it's totally worth it. You know, a little bit of suffering is always needed mm. when you're doing something cool. And um, we also had a new guy, Jens Bulgren, mixing and mastering the album. So uh, he also gave us that new sound edge while we were hoping for. And he did a really good job. We are really proud of him. Um, if uh, you could sort of play God, you know, a regular God or Thor Odin or whatever God, you know, if you could look into the crystal ball and you could decide what 2021 would look like for Ensiferum, what would it be? What what would the year contain? Um, we would really like to do some good support tour for a bigger band, you know, get like, I don't know, not stadiums, but like, you know, very huge halls. Uh, that would be really awesome. Then a couple of our own headliner tours after that one. Tons of festivals in the summer, you know, and uh, more touring in the autumn. And then it's Christmas. <laughs> but yeah. Which bands would you like to open for? You got to give us some names. Um. I don't know. Dream away, man. <laughs> dream away, dream away. <sighs> Who would I? Well, I would go with this guy anytime. You know, <laughs> I just saw his show uh, in in the states before we started our last tour over there, and it was just fantastic show. So uh, with King Diamond, I would go any anytime. That would be awesome. Sounds great, Petri. Yeah. Great talking to you and great to have you in Band Bond. Thank you very much. Yeah. Looking forward to see how it kicks off, really. Thanks. Bye. Thank you. Bye.